What up, everyone? I wanted to start the video right here because the view was uh, thought the view was pretty nice. We're gonna head downtown, which is the plan for today. But first, we'll go grab something to eat over here. I think it's uh, yeah, left side right over there. Just wanted to show you guys this. Once I get done eating, I'll explain the plans for today. Go ahead and show you guys a, another part of Kigali. I'm learning this learning this city with you guys. I don't know where I'm at. I'm pretty close. I think it's another neighborhood. Gotta be careful, we got banks and stuff over here. They have like security everywhere, like on many corners, so definitely have to be careful. A lot of people riding bikes, not just motors, but like bicycles, as you see. I definitely gotta cross this street. Yeah, we're approaching the the destination, Kigali Genocide Memorial. Let's parking over here. Gonna get inside, read a little bit, and I'll do a voiceover to show you some of the some of the history and uh what went on. So we'll talk about it real quick. So you can't take photos or videos inside the museum, only out here. So show you some of this. Beautiful. First, we watched the movie. Just a quick six minute uh, rundown of the of what occurred here. Just got out of the memorial, right over there. And as I stated earlier, wasn't able to film inside, wasn't able to take any pictures which was unfortunate but basically went into the history of you know what occurred here went into the uh the backstory of all the the actors involved and how it how it all started it was basically deeper than just you know two uh, it was deeper than just tribal warfare i'll put it to you like that it was way deeper it also went into the history of other genocides like the one in cambodia Germany, uh, the Balkans, you know, Southern Europe. There was one more I forgot. But yeah, and just some, some, some stats that throw out there. Roughly around one million people were slaughtered within the span of 100 days, which is roughly like three months. You know, one million, and and those were people that were, you know, recorded that were that died. They didn't go into the amount of people who were injured, tortured, beaten, that are still alive today. So, yeah, like I said, it goes, it, it goes deep into the to the history. I would recommend it. I don't want to get too specific, cause uh, you know, I don't want any, I don't want any problems. But just know, I'll, I'll definitely recommend uh, checking it out. If you're in, in East Africa, you're in near Kigali. Definitely in lighting. Definitely. But right now I'm headed to the I want to say the downtown area. I think at least I think that's what it's called. CBD downtown El Centro, something like that. Be my first time there. So we're gonna check it out together. We're gonna explore it together. And uh, just see what's over there. So give me one second, I'm gonna walk there. I got about a 30, 40 minute walk. And then we'll be there. Um, explain to us about the, the car free zone. What is it? Things to do? Anything. Um, the car free zone is a beautiful place here in Rwanda. Mm. Uh, there's no cars that are passing there. Mm -hmm. Only people that are moving on, taking pictures. It's a nice, a nice place full of different games. And there are some shops as well selling traditional things and some bars. Not only Rwandan bars, 
even people from US or different countries. It's a very beautiful place. Okay, now just tell me one food I must try. One food. Sorry? Let me know. Tell me one food, one meal I must try um, that you recommend. Spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese. What? Spaghetti? Bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Oh, okay, I know what that is. Spaghetti with like sauce on the meat, meat, meat sauce. Okay, okay, perfect. All right. For anybody wondering, it's a Saturday. Pretty active. I'm sure everywhere in the world is active on a Saturday. Oh, let me see how I get through here. Oh man, is he going? I'm gonna go behind him. Oh, we We'll go over here. Oh, how are we gonna get through here? Let's go over here. Hey, <laughs> it's cool. All right. Guessing this is where you go to shop. Hey, I don't know what she said to me. Oh no, thank you. It's okay. Yeah. No, nothing. No food. Food. Huh? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> huh? Oh, you want to say something? Moses. Hey, Moses. Okay, nice to meet you, man. Uh huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, go on this side. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I try to talk to people, but afterwards, they'll try to sell me stuff. So I just try to keep it moving. We eventually have to go up this way, but we're gonna keep walking straight. Yeah, we'll keep going straight. I think I've seen uh oh, I'm not gonna say it right here. But your boy might get married in a couple of weeks. Might not see any more videos, man. I've seen a couple of missed slides. We're eventually gonna hit the left side. Hey Karibu. I still don't know what Karibu means. I think it means like a welcome. I, I hear it in spoken in so many different contexts. Pretty sure it's a standard greeting.
One thing that's very popular here is something called a uh, gorilla trucking, where you go in the forest. It's popular in here, Uganda, and uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. Where you go into the forest and you track like, silverback gorillas. I was thinking about doing that, so I saw the price. Like in Rwanda, it's supposed to be the most expensive, fifteen hundred. Uganda and DRC, it's more affordable, but what I hear is not as organized. And also, uh, it could be a little bit more difficult in those areas. Rwanda is supposed to be, supposed to have the easiest uh, trails to catch or to see the, uh, the gorillas. So I was definitely thinking about doing that. I look pretty cool, but 1500, that's a little, that's a little steep. We're gonna walk up this way. Yeah, that's a little steep. Maybe uh, in the future. Oh man. I need to find that car free zone. All I see is cars. Let me go this way. All right. Let's see where we're at right here. Thought I was close, but I'm not. Got another trek. And a couple more hills. Okay, I think we, I think I see it. All right, I think we're here. I think we made it. Whoo! I think at night, it's supposed to be very active too, beautiful, romantic. This reminds me of, uh, they got something similar to this in like in uh, Cali, Colombia. It's like a walkway. Look like it starts way over there. All right, we'll go this way. Got the Kigali sign right here. Everybody getting their pics. Let me get the, let me get one in here as well. Look like, yeah, maybe professional fo professionals who We'll take the photo for you if you want to. Kigali, they're getting their pick. And then we'll keep it moving. Walkway with stores, restaurants, people riding their bikes, taking a stroll, relaxing. If I'm not mistaken, I think they have free Wi Fi here. So it's also about the rain. I can feel the drizzle. Eateries. Feel like a popular spot over here. Okay, I don't know how long this is, but it looks like it stops over here. I'm gonna do a loop around. Go straight, take a left, and then come back. So it looks like a pretty chill walkway. We can come relax. I'm kind of on the other side now. Just a quick walk. 
people have uh, their cameras out. And photos, nice photos, family pics. And then, so this is the other side right here. Like I said, it's about the rain. I don't know if you can see the droplets on my arm. So this is the CBD downtown free uh, car free area walkway. I don't know the the name. But I'm probably gonna end it right here. All right, I'm gonna take that that walk back. Cause like I said, it's it's coming down now. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Learned a little something. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.